one thing I've always done with my own clientele is a lot of crawling variation. Um, it wasn't until a couple of years ago at uh, Mike Robertson uh, IFAST seminar that I uh, went to Charlie Weingroff was presenting that I really started like open the knees up and kick the knees out. Charlie taught that in the bear crawl. And I've really noticed that really help um, open people's hips up because most people have a problem getting their knees out on the squat and getting their hips open. So I use a ton of crawling with my clientele, especially with my female athletes or female um, clients to help them control their pelvis. And I use it for myself kind of as an active recovery pair of maybe some, some, some bear crawls with some upper back work on an off day to kind of help recover and also help get my body moving the way it's supposed to. Um, what I do with people that are, that are new that are afraid to have a hard time is we just get them down on all fours and have them crawl with their knees and with their elbows, forwards, backwards. We can even go side to side all that sort of good stuff. That's for people that have a little bit of a problem. You'll see it right away when someone doesn't do the bear crawl well. But for myself and for my other clients, we basically get into a nice all fours position, and I like to drive those knees out, okay? And I, when I crawl, I'm driving the knees out and keeping my core engaged, forwards, backwards. You'll notice a lot of women, they'll spill forward like this, and what I'll tell them to do is pull the rib cage to the belly button to teach them neutral and to reinforce neutral. It's very, very important. There's something magical about opposite arm, opposite leg. When you start doing this kind of stuff, you go cross body, good things start happening. Another variation that I use a lot for myself is on the back, like the old military style crawl, where you're actually getting that scapular activated, driving that scapula, driving with the opposite leg, getting those scaps going, getting the glutes going. This works for the front crawl, the back crawl, getting all those stabilizers up in the scapula working. It also kicks your tail uh, as far as a conditioning standpoint if you need to add GPP. Crawls are great. You can add, if you want to make it a higher threshold exercise, you can add chains around the waist, you can, you can drag. But I just like to do it with body weight just to keep my shoulders healthy keep my hips open, uh, and it works a great core stability, low threshold exercise.